we've gathered here today to say goodbye to some of our bronzers and blushes. My dog is like, I want to be part of this video too. So this is basically my first bronzer and blush declutter on my channel. We're gonna start with bronzers because bronzers are the ones that I think it's gonna be easier for me to um, go through. I do know I have 20 of them. Let's start with the minis. So I have a bunch of minis because I honestly prefer minis because <laughs> it's easier for me to finish off or just like utilize more. Um, but out of these minis, let me do swatches for each of them. Okay, so here are the swatches. So I started with Hourglass. Second one is Marc Jacobs. Third one is Too Faced. Fourth one is Nars Laguna. Uh, fifth one, it is um, Fenty Beauty. Sixth one is Bahama Mama. Seventh one is um, Physician's Formula. And eighth one is Fenty. So here are the swatches. So after looking at these swatches, I can tell you which one I'm not gonna let go. So the Physician's Formula One, you, as you can see, I have a major pan in that. So I'm trying to finish it off, and I also do really love it. So this one is gonna stay, not gonna, not going anywhere. Uh, this one from Hourglass is gonna stay because I do love it. The Marc Jacobs it was a recent bought. Um, and that's gonna stay Nars Laguna it's gonna stay as well because I just recently got that unfortunately Fenty this one is has to go this is Caramel Cutie Sun Stalker I did like it but it's been in my collection for far too long pretty sure it has been expired for a while now um yeah, it has to go. So this one is going. Bahama Mama, I think, is going as well. Um, I think I've used it enough. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit too dark for me. So this one is going to go. Now, between these two, oh, I really love this one. I know it's a little old, but I love it. And I think I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep this one. Now, this one, I think, can, can go. Um, it, it's a nice swatch. It's this one right here at the top. But if you look at my other swatches, I prefer something that is not so much of a red tone or like a reddish-orange tone. You know, I prefer something more into the browns. So, this one is going to go, too. Alright, so here are the swatches for the next four. So the first swatch, it is this one from e.l.f. The second swatch is ABH. The third swatch is Tower 28. And fourth swatch, it is um, this one from uh, Soul Body. Hmm. Looking at the swatches, this is hard. Um... I'm definitely going to keep Tower 28 because this one is a recent purchase. Um, definitely going to keep Elf because this one is pretty recent as well and I need to play with it more. I'm going to keep this one from Soul Body because I do like it and I am going to use it. <sighs> this one. This one is from... ABH and it is in cappuccino. I like it. Sometimes it's too dark for me, but it is perfect when I am very tan, which didn't happen in a while. So I haven't used it that much. Um, this is going to be on I'll think about it pile. Alright, so for our next pile here, we have... Tarte, which is the first 
swatch, we have Too Faced, which is the second swatch. We have Cover FX, which is the third and fourth swatch. And from the Too Faced palette, I only swatched two, the last two over there. <sighs> okay, this is hard. This is really hard because I love, I love them. I love them all, <laughs> but I know they cannot stay all. So Tarte is definitely going to stay. This one, actually, I haven't had it for that long. So this is still good. It's going to stay. These, this one, unfortunately, the Too Faced Gold Soleil, going to have to go. It's going to have to go. I, I can't keep that one. This one is staying because um, I haven't had it for that long. And also... I do like it and I do use it. I use this one. Now, this one, I don't use it that much. But I don't know if I can say goodbye. I only had it for like mm, seven months, something like that. So it's going to stay. Now, the last four, there are some really nice swatches for these. There are some really nice bronzers. Um, so the first swatch, it is um, the one from Kiko Milano. The second one is from Glowish. The third one is LA Colors. And the fourth one is Natasha Denona. So out of these... Okay, let's take it. So these one and this one no i just recently purchased them so they're gonna stay natasha denona is gonna stay as well this one is gonna go unfortunately it has to go i do like it i did use it but it is time to let it go these are the ones that are gonna go now i am having a really hard time deciding if I should keep this one from ABH or not. A really hard time deciding. I like the formula. I like the color. I had it in my collection for at least a year and a half. <sighs> I'm not sure if I want to let it go. I think I'm just going to try it for at least another week. And just kind of make up my mind then. If I want to keep it. And but these are the ones that are definitely gonna go. So let me go you get you through every single one of them. So the one from uh, Fenty that is uh, the stick, I have it in uh, much stick in cin cinnamon. And I have used this one actually, I have used it. It just has a tiny little bit left, that's all that's left in it. So I'm not feeling bad about letting this one go um this other fenty one like i said is the caramel cutie one i had it on far too long i enjoyed it enough it's time to go the mahama mama is the same thing i've tried it quite um quite a lot i haven't had it for that long but the color is a little bit too dark for me this one i had it for a while as well and i did enjoy it i did like it. i played with it a while so I'm not feeling bad about letting it go, and it's the same one with this one. Now, let me show you which ones I am keeping. All right, so these are the ones that we are keeping. Tower 28, I have mine in Bronzino Best Coast. Definitely keeping this one. Marc Jacobs, we have it in Tantastic Omega Bronze. The Soul Body, we have it in Dark. The Bronze and Glow from Natasha Denona. Um, doesn't say anything, it's just Mini Bronze and Glow. Um, then we have Too Faced Bronze Peach. And then from Kiko Milano, we have it in Perfect Sienna. This Elf one is constantly bronzed. And NARS, we have it in uh, Laguna. The glowish one, we have it in Tan Light. The Hotel Harris from Tarte. It's in Hotel Harris, I guess. 
this one to face cocoa contour this one is the butter bronzer from physician formula hourglass we have it in radiant bronze light and cover effects i have it in a sun kiss bronze so yay we have our winners so i'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen and then of course there's one that the abh that we're still thinking about it this were right all right now then we can move on to blushes i have to say the blushes this is gonna be tough this is gonna be really tough i have a lot of them and then on top of that i um I am getting very attached to my blushes, so it's gonna be a hard one, but we have to do it. All right, so we're starting our swatch round with the cream ones. So I have cream, five cream blushes, two from Milk, um, one that is unknown, <laughs> uh, one from Fenty, one from Tower 28. So the two from Milk are these ones on top. Um, I don't like the pinkish one, so that definitely is gonna go. And I'm gonna keep the other one. Uh, this one in the middle right here. I like the color, but I had it for far too long. It's the one unknown. Um, it's a Korean brand. I don't. I'm not sure which brand. And the other two, I'm definitely gonna keep because these ones are very recent purchases so these are gonna stay this one is gonna stay these two are gonna go all right next in here we're going with some minis so first off we have this one from excel which i do like uh second we have from sleek which is a little bit too shimmery for me third one we have it from the balm hot mama uh, fourth one we have it from NARS and it is way too shimmery for me and then we have the Ulta one which it's pretty but I never reach for it so what are we gonna do keep keep not keeping uh um maybe not keeping all right swatches for ColourPop because i have a bunch of color pop so this one right here is the first one which i like as a swatch but i do not like it on the face because it is way too shimmery the second one is this one right here which i do like and i am gonna keep the third one is this one right here which is a really insane color and i'm not sure if i am gonna use it the fourth one is this one right here which i don't like the fact that it has all that shimmer sparkle in it look at that that is insane I do not want that on my face for the blush. Don't. Um, so although it's a Sailor Moon, and I love Sailor Moon, if I'm going to keep this, I am just going to keep it as like, you know, because uh, it's Sailor Moon but not because I'm going to use it. So I have to decide what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to put it on maybe. This one, no, this one is going to go. We're going to keep this one and also keep this one. Next in here, we have drugstore uh, blushes. So we have Milani, Alme, and Physician's Formula. The first two are the two from uh, Milani. The third one is the Alme one. And the fourth one is the uh, Butter Blush from Physician Formula. <sighs> I'm going to have to say goodbye to both of my Milani blushes. 
I just never wish for them. Never wish for them. This one I knew from the beginning I don't like because this one is way too shimmery for me. And I just don't like that look. Um, so this one is gonna go. This one as well. This one I just... It is kind of shimmery too. And also I just never, never, never reach for it. Ever. So why would I keep it in my collection? I had them in my collection for quite a while. I would say at least a year and a half. And they had their chance. Those are going to go. The Almi one is going to stay because I really do like this one. And the same thing with the Butter Blush. They're going to stay. Next, next batch over here. These, I think if I would have these four, only these four, I think these would be, I'll be happy with. Because these are the colors that I would, I wear the most, I would say. Something like that. If Pat McGrath would have been a little bit more orangey, it would have been perfect. So here it is, the swatches. The first one is Pat McGrath. I was swatching and I was like hoping to turn orange, but it still didn't. <laughs> the second one is the cover effects, the shimmery part. And the third one is the matte part. The uh, fourth one, it is the hourglass and the fifth one it is um charlotte tilbury i know for sure i am gonna use these i know i'm not gonna let them go this one is new this one i like this one i love this one i like it is destroyed but i'm still gonna use it even if it's destroyed like that All right, now the battle of the small palettes. I have these three small palettes and here are some swatches for you. So this one from Morphe, this is how I usually wear them. I combine all three of them. So usually that's the color, the first color that I wear. The second one, that red, oh, isn't that pretty? Such a beautiful red. And then that is the highlighter, the red one. And then the next to it is that little bronzer. Um, and the third one is the combination of those two, which is so pretty. So I'm going to keep all three of them because I love them. Yeah, keeping. Now the battle of the big um, palettes. And... One of them is going to go. Can you guess which one? Here are some swatches for you. So the first four are from this one. This is that orange. Almost the only orange blush. Powder blush that I have in my collection. And these are some light pinks in here. From um, this one right here. Which is um what is it called makeup institute and so this one is gonna go this one is gonna stay all right so these are the ones that are gonna stay so pat mcgrath and electric bloom we have diffuse heat ambient from hourglass wonder beauty wonder rest dust to dawn bombshell from june and co uh pop of pink from Morphe, Sugary Scoops by Sugary Cosmetics, Almay, um, so 20 Mauve, uh, Color Pop from the Moon, Peach, Beach Please, Golden Hour from uh, Tower 28, Kissing a Frog from um, Color Pop, um, The Query Dip from Fenty, Hot Mama, that's to name a few. So, there you go. And here's the ones that are leaving. The Colourpop one, the Nars, the Milani one, the Milk, the Ulta, and this one. And the other two that I was thinking about, which is this one from Colourpop and the Sleek one in Rose Gold. I'm going to keep the Sleek one. And the, the Colourpop one, I am going to keep just to this just as a just as a makeup memory i guess yeah 